Welcome back to the launch pad. This is a flash update about the International Space Station, the Nyoka module, and the emergency declared today. Well, it's been a very busy and I'm sure nerve-wracking day for the crew on board the ISS. Following the arrival and docking of the new Russian space station module, Russian cosmonauts began to conduct leak checks between the Nyoka module and the service module. At 12.45 p.m., the NASA Flight Control Center received data showing the Nyoka module had fired its thrusters, pushing the station out of orientation and out of control. Though NASA states the crew was never in danger, the station and NASA declared an emergency, activated all communication systems, and powered up the Crew Dragon Endeavor for an evacuation should it be necessary. Crew Dragon was designed to depart on its own in a situation just like this. The ISS crew will now spend a number of days conducting station checkouts to search for any damage from today's incident. NASA will also sit down with their structural load teams to review all data and telemetry. The crew did not report any shaking during the emergency. The launch of the second orbital flight test of the Boeing Starliner has been delayed to early August as a result of today's incident. The NASA ISS program manager confirmed that they had two calm dropouts, one that lasted for four minutes and the other for seven minutes, and that the flight director declared the emergency. This gives NASA the ability to prioritize communication and take priority of other satellites. NASA had to configure some of the solar arrays and radiators on board the ISS in response to the unplanned firing. NASA saw the ISS data showing that it was being pushed out of position by NIOCA pretty quickly and responded as such. NASA's ISS program manager stated that until you exhaust all your contingency plans, that's when you start to worry, and today we just weren't there. NASA also shared that the leak in the hatch of the ISS service module has been a leak of about one pound per day, and they're not worried, but they will be monitoring to see if Nyoka may have worsened this leak. Unplanned jet firings have happened before. In the 20-year history of the ISS, this has happened just two to three other times. All in all, the station is safe and in one piece, and most importantly, so is the crew. After filming this update, we received a little more information. Three hours after arrival at 12.34 p.m., Nyoka unexpectedly began firing its thrusters for one hour until it ran out of fuel. The ISS rotated over 45 degrees in the process and the ISS thrusters were activated to try to counter the move. Because Nyoka has burned all of its fuel, there is no risk of this happening again. A formal investigation has been started between NASA and the Roscosmos Agency to determine what caused this and to ensure that it never happens again. That's all for this update, but be sure to engage that subscribe button and ring the bell to make sure you never miss another Space News update or anything else space. This is Zach with the Launchpad, signing off.